Today we're going to be looking at this fitness and activity device from Garmin. Right? So this model is the Instinct Solar and it does have a built-in GPS. It's meant to be a rugged tough device so it is for hardcore workout and athletes and enthusiasts I guess, fitness enthusiasts. So let's open up the box, see what's inside. Packaging as you can see is small and compact. Okay. Device. There's probably some documentation, so let's try to get to that. Ah, there it is. So there is a cable, so this is a standard USB cable to hook up to the device for charging primarily and then probably also if you need to download any data. I'm not sure if it has something like that, but we could look that up. Okay, so there's the device. In terms of documentation, there's a few little pieces. Okay, some little card. Not really sure what that is. This. Stickers. So I guess they have some stickers which you can stick. There's a Garmin sticker. And then there's a beat yesterday, which is probably their tagline. So they include that, you could probably stick it on devices, maybe your laptop or someplace else. Okay, and this is a detailed printed manual, so it has quick start guide, and then multiple languages of course. So that's nice that they're still including printed material. So let's take a look at this watch. As you can see, it's quite nice. Colors are this orangish reddish color. It's a silicon strap and you can pretty much connect it at any length so it's good for any size wrist has a very sporty look and unlike some of the other smart watches and fitness devices let's say from a Fitbit this has a really sporty look and quite a bit of buttons as well so there's two buttons on this side and three on this side so it does have quite a few buttons and in terms of the place where it hooks up to connect well that's at the bottom here so you have the hookup for the USB cable so that's for charging and this is the part which makes contact with your body and gets all the readings right? uh, in terms of it it is water resist and shock resist so it mentions that here and it's up to 100 meters so that's that's pretty cool uh, the device is made in Taiwan so that's about it for our unboxing. We will use this for the next few weeks and see how it performs in exercise and activity tracking kind of events. And we'll put out our full review on newsbytes.ph. So look out for that.